Hey there guys and gals, welcome back to the OGC. I want to take a few minutes today and do a little maintenance on the RV. We're getting to that time of year and I need to get this thing ready for winter with the kids and sports and everything. I just don't have time to get out and use it much after the Labor Day holiday, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's been about four, it's a 2020, I know it's never been redone, but if you know anything about an RV, water is your nemesis and the roof is the main culprit. So. They recommend, from what I've read on the lines, is every four to five years going through and resealing. So I picked up some of this ProTech RV roof sealant, self-leveling. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the back edge there and the front and the sides if I can. I only have one tube, because this stuff's kind of expensive, to be honest. I'm gonna get up there, take a look at it. I'll take you along for the ride. Uh, I'm gonna just plan on scrubbing it off as best I can and then just laying a bead on it and temperatures are like mid 60s but there's some sun on it right now and I believe you want it to be a little warmer than that so but I just don't have time to do this any any other day this week and I don't know how much warmer it's actually going to get so we're going to do the best we can with what we got basically is what I'm saying so let me grab my crappy caulk gun that hopefully still works throw this in and we'll get up on the roof and let's just see how this stuff lays down made by Camco, which I know they make a lot of other RV stuff, so. All right, let's do it. All right, got us loaded in this old cheap old caulk gun from the dollar store. Uh, I cut the tip, I don't know, quarter inch bead maybe? Hard to see, hard to say. I just eyeballed it. All right, I'm gonna try to puncture this so I can start getting some caulk through here, and that's not gonna work. I need something longer than that, what do I got? What's in here? I don't even know anymore. I need some uh, roofing nails. It's not going to be long enough. There we go. Old galvanized nail. All right. Get this punctured. There we go. Make sure that's ready to go. That stuff is gooey. Look at that. All right, to the roof. All right, up on the roof. This is the back edge here. And it doesn't look too bad, but it's dirty. I'm gonna use some of the spray away glass cleaner. Just wipe it with a rag first. See if we can get some of that up. And then I'm just gonna lay a bead, some of these areas like right there, right along that edge, all the way down. So let's see how this goes. Now, I'm using this just because it's what I have, you know, so. Give it the best chance to adhere, you know. Not too bad. Okay. Let's see how this see how this goes. Make sure it's dry. I'm going to give it a second here. I'm going to use the other side of the rag to dry it. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, here it comes. Very elastic y. Very strange mixture here. Just gonna kind of rub it in here a little bit, make sure it 
covers everything. It's almost like a glue substance, to be honest. Very strange. Not the prettiest. And that could be also, I mean, it might be a little bit too cold. I don't know. Now it says it's self-leveling, so I'm hoping this just kind of settles down here. But uh, I'm making a mess. Yikes. Looks like it's covering though. Easiest stuff to work with, guys. Being honest. All right, let me show you where we're at here. It's kind of messy. I'm hoping it kind of. Let's see. Over here, there was a big gap, so I just plastered it on there. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up a little bit on this edge right here, man. I'll be right back with you. All right, let me show you the progress I've made and what I've figured out and learned here. You can see it gooped on there. I just applied that. It hasn't really settled yet. But then you can see further down how it's kind of molting and, I mean, it doesn't look pretty, right? But it's sealing, as far as I can tell. Uh, a couple things on this. Um, better caught gun. My gun doesn't really, I have to really squeeze on it to get it to push anything out and it makes it hard to keep it steady when you're up on a ladder on the roof second thing is this stuff's very sticky and unforgiving on your skin um, I put some latex gloves on just to smear it after I laid it so I'd lay a bead and then I'd smear it with my thumb to spread it out and then it kind of just settles um, not going for perfection obviously if you watch the channel you know that to be true but it can be done. Um, I've got in the back and the one side done and I've got about probably almost half the tube to go yet. So there's quite a bit in there, maybe a little less than that. I'm gonna jump on the other side and get that side. The front here looks pretty good, let me show you. I don't see any lifting or anything on it yet. It's got a huge bead across it. I think I'm gonna let that one be for now. Less of this goop, the better. If it was warmer out, this would lay a lot better, I think. And it's not supposed to rain for a few days. So this can sit out in the sun for a couple days. Hopefully that'll clean it up a little bit. Okay, this, this side definitely went better. Um, what I learned is smaller bead, less product, and then your thumb and just run it along there and that looks pretty good. Now, keep in mind, it's 65 degrees and this side's not in the sun, so it's gonna take a minute to level out. This should slowly smooth out a little bit better than it is right now. I gooped it up there because I could tell there were some gaps. Um, again, the front edge there from this side looks really good, so I left it alone. These, fortunately, are all covered, rain covers, so I'm not too concerned about those at the moment. Although, eventually, yes, I probably will pop those off and look at them. I think if a guy had a better caulk gun, something with a little more power, um, you could cut a smaller tip, lay less product easier, and you'd have a lot better time. Um, you know, something more than like a $12 caulk gun, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, warmer temperatures, definitely. I think if you have the opportunity in the summer, when it's gonna be in the mid 70s and sunny, do it then. You can tell the stuff likes to lay down on the sun side. It's laying a lot quicker. This side is kind of gooping yet. So those two things for sure. Smaller bead, less product, and just use your thumb, run it across there. That seemed to work better for me. 
Um, the other side is kind of a disaster, but it's sealed. I mean, it's not, it's better than it was. I just hate for the next guy to have to go up there and do something with it. Anyway, um, thank you guys very much for watching this. I will be getting back to the, you can see it right there, the old El Tigre. If you guys watched that video in the spring, you'll know that came in maybe basically a box, uh, meaning the carburetors and the magneto and all the electronics were in a box. We were able to get that put together and to fire on bottle feed gas. But that's not really my ultimate goal with that project. I've been debating what I want to do with it and I have an idea. So I'm looking for some parts and stay tuned. That's going to be a fun one here in the next month or so. I'm going to start working on that and really looking forward to getting the old 76 El Tigre back on the trail. So look for that in the near future. We've got some other things in the works, but for now, should be pretty waterproof.